Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you a really fun technique, and that's how to spawn items in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So you only really need three tools to do this. Semu, LibreVR's Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild memory editor, and of course the list of the object ID names, which you'll have to put inside the memory editor. Alright, so first things first, let's open up our applications. Uh, first we need Semu, and we need our codes here. I already have highlighted uh, enemy guardians. Don't know if we'll start with that. Maybe we will. Maybe we'll open up uh, some guardians in a field or something and some talus. Uh, and of course LibreVR's Breath of the Wild memory editor is right here, but we'll minimize that for right now. First let's load up Zelda. Alright, so here we are. So this is the disclaimer of the video. And it's really important to keep in mind. So when using LibreVR's memory editing tool, you, you are actually, uh, you know, editing memory uh, hex codes on the fly and you're messing around with game data. So there is a chance that you could corrupt your game or corrupt data within the game depending on what you're doing, what you're playing with. So it's probably best that you work uh, on a backup copy of Zelda Breath of the Wild just to be safe. So with that said, um, here we are, we're at the uh, Hylia Lake Tower here, Sheikah Tower, and we're going to try spawning something up here. So the first thing you need to do is open up the Breath of the Wild memory editor and hit the scan button. It's going to scan the memory of the game and search your save game state and all your data and load it up into the app. All right, so it's loaded here. We can see what I have equipped, uh, my bow and my sword. So we wanna go over to archery. So we use the bow for this technique and first thing you wanna do, and this is really important, is to set your equipment to what you wanna use. Now, if at all possible, you need to try to completely avoid going into your inventory. And uh, if you're anything like me, you know, I, when things are getting crazy and I'm running around, <laughs> running away from enemies, trying to uh, equip things, I don't usually use the quick select. I'm one of those people that jump into inventory all the time and do it that way, the old school way. Um, but this is gonna cause you issues because if you're changing things on the fly, um, especially, um, you know, your inventory items, things like that, there's a very high chance that you're going to actually crash semu using this technique. So we want to prepare ahead of time and have everything that we need already equipped. So go ahead and pick up whatever bow you want to use. Uh, I like the royal bow and we're going to leave fire arrows on. So with that out of the way, we'll go back to the main game and then we'll hop over to the tool again. So you want to select the arrow that you have uh, equipped with your bow. So where's the fire arrow? There it is. So this spawn technique pretty much uh, works on the whole mechanism of spawning arrows. So you're spawning a new arrow object every time you shoot an arrow into the environment. So what we're going to be doing is replace the arrow ID with the ID of whatever object we want to spawn into the game. So let's see here, we're going to hop over to our list and we're going to select something. Um, they have Lionels and stuff, but let's not do that just yet. Let's start with something a little bit simpler. Uh, let's just do a Yiga foot soldier up here on the tower. So select the ID, make sure you have it in full like this, copy it, go back to the memory editor and you can paste it where your object is, where your current object ID is for the arrow. Paste it in there and hit update. Now I also actually want to increase this from 10 to something else, but maybe we'll do that in a moment. Let's go back to the game and pull out our bow. Oh, and that's what happens. I just spawned that character. Uh, and he disappeared because he probably is respawning again once he disappeared somewhere down on the ground. And we're all the way up here on the tower. 
but that's pretty much how it works. So let's level up a little bit. That was a Yiga foot soldier. Let's do something crazy. Um, let's do a Hinox. Uh, let's do this one right here. Oh, let's do a black Hinox on top of this tower, which is going to be kind of crazy. Same process as before, you paste in the new object ID and hit update. I'll move this out of the way and go back to our game. Pull out your bow and fire an arrow. And, uh, <laughs> and that's what happens guys. I just spawned a giant black Hinox. So have some fun with it, um, but again, make sure that you're playing with a backup copy of Breath of the Wild because I have actually gone through and done this and have corrupted it and had to replace it with a fresh backup copy. So just be aware that that's an issue. Also again, stay out of your inventory because if you go to your bows and arrows, you're, you're going to have an issue um, as the game's trying to load the data for this new object, which of course is an enemy right now, and it's going to be in the weapon inventory, and it doesn't make sense. So it gets confused, and it will crash some you. So be aware of that as well. Um, other than that, I think that's pretty much it. I'm just going to run around here and spawn some things and have some fun, and I'll probably tag it on the end of this video. And thanks so much for watching, everybody. Uh, guys, I hope you have fun with this. This is a lot of fun to do, um, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. Guys, give me feedback. If you like this type of content, please let me know in the comments below. Give the video a like, and if you're not already subscribed, please do so. I have a lot of new ideas for different content on the way. Make sure to also hop into the Regenerate Discord server. We have a great community full of passionate members that just keeps on growing. It's really the place to be. So come join us and see what the community is really all about. That's all for now guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.